Hey friends, I spent the last three weeks and about 96 bucks on this sample laser acrylic you see here, trying to figure out which supplier is the best for people who are new to lasering acrylic like me. And if you're wondering, um, why didn't you just Google it? Well, I did do that, but every time I would go on forums or other places online, what I would end up getting was just a list of options, which is still helpful, but what I really wanted was something much more detailed. What I was really looking for was a detailed comparison of the suppliers based on their prices, product quality, selection, customer service, and ease of use. And since I couldn't find one, I decided to make it myself, and that's what you're gonna see right here in this video, along with the three suppliers that I think are a tier above everyone else, and the number one supplier that I plan to use and recommend to others going forward. But first, let me show you the full original list of laser acrylic suppliers that I considered. These were all recommended. There are 10 of them, and here they are in alphabetical order. Cerulean Tides, Craft Closet, Custom Made Better, Delvies, E Street Plastics, Houston Acrylics, Johnson Plastics Plus, Maker Stock, Smoky Hill Designs, and Tap Plastics. And just to be super clear, since this is YouTube, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies and none of them know that I'm making this video. Now that the stage is set for our 10 contestants here, the first thing I evaluated was their ease of use, because if you can't understand their website, products, or how to order from them in the first place, then the other factors don't really matter that much. And right off the bat, this eliminated three different suppliers for me, specifically E Street Plastics, Tap Plastics, and this third one might be a bit controversial because I know some people really like their products, but Johnson Plastics Plus. So let me just say, if you're already familiar with Johnson Plastics Plus or either of these other suppliers, you know their product line and you already know exactly what you want from them, by all means, keep doing what you're doing. But if you are like I was a couple of weeks ago and you were getting ready to place your first order for acrylic to run on your laser, then I think you're gonna be a lot happier with some of the other suppliers we'll talk about next. So now I was down to a list of seven, but I wanted to get that down to a group of five who I would actually place an order with. But in order to narrow this list down further, I needed some more factors to consider, and so I looked at two more things. The first one was price, but since these companies have literally hundreds of acrylic products available, I couldn't take all of the products from one company and compare it to all of them from another company because that just wouldn't work. So instead as a proxy, what I did was I took a similar size sheet of black acrylic for all of these suppliers and got the price for those so I could get closer to an apples to apples comparison. I specifically chose matte black for all of the companies except for Smoky Hill Designs who didn't appear to have a matte option for their black acrylic and so I chose glossy black for theirs. The second new factor I considered was selection and I compared this by counting the number of 1 8 inch acrylic products that they have available on their websites. And this was actually more helpful than I expected because it painted a pretty clear picture of who had the most selection available, but we'll come back to that later. And by the way, if you want the spreadsheet with all of the different notes that I took on these suppliers, you can actually get it on my free email newsletter, which is linked in the description below. But anyway, these new factors helped me to eliminate two new suppliers. The first one was Delvies, who also had a somewhat difficult to navigate website, and they also had among the highest base prices for black acrylic, so I went ahead and crossed them off the list. But then this last one was really tough because it was neck and neck between Cerulean Tides and Maker Stock. Their prices were pretty similar, Cerulean Tides had a bit more selection, and on the other hand, I found Maker Stock's website to be much easier to use, and so I really think it was nearly a tie. But ultimately, I decided to go to Maker Stock, and this gives us our final five. So let's just recap here, who do we have left in our final list? Again, in alphabetical order, we have Craft Closet, Custom Made Better, Houston Acrylic, Maker Stock, and Smoky Hill Design. And this means it was time for product quality testing. And so I went ahead and I placed an order for acrylic at each of these five different companies so that I could get it, hold it in my hands, have a look at it, and run some test grids on it. But now it's time for a little bit of nuance because I didn't actually buy the exact same type of acrylic from each of these suppliers because I wanted to have a few different styles to try and I also hope to use some of these sheets of material in my laser business and so I didn't want to have all one color, all one type. And so as a result, this isn't going to be a perfect apples to apples comparison. And so instead, I think a good way of looking at the tests I'm about to show you is as a pass fail test. And so was it good quality? Were there any significant issues? If it's all looking pretty good, then it's a pass. If there's something significant that's like a huge red flag, then that would be a fail. 
So with that said, let's carry on. First up was Craft Closet, and I began my testing by just doing an inspection of the panel. I ordered the silver acrylic color, which I think actually looked pretty cool from them. Um, and it did have a chip in the corner, but it wasn't big enough that it would actually affect my use of the panel. I also ran a cut test, which was a little bit tricky working with the silver on a diode laser, but I eventually did get it to cut out, and I would call this one a pass. Custom Made Better was next up. The panel overall was in great shape. I ordered the black acrylic with matte on one side and glossy on the other side, and when I ran my cut test, I did the glossy side up. Black was super easy to work with, and it was an easy pass for them. Contestant number three was Houston Acrylic. I ordered white with matte on one side and glossy on the other side from them. There were some rough edges here, but again, it wasn't enough to affect my use. The white material was definitely harder to cut, similar to the silver metallic, but that's probably because I'm using a diode laser and not due to any issue with the acrylic. So it's another pass here for me. Maker stock is next. I bought black from them also, one side matte and the other side glossy. The panel was in great shape. And by the way, there was a handwritten thank you on my packing slip, which was a nice little touch. And for the cut test, I ran it on the matte side up this time. This was another easy pass for the black material here. Finally, we had Smoky Hill Designs, and there were a few unusual things about this one. First off, they actually sent me two sheets of material, even though I had only ordered one. I don't know if this was accidental or if they were just being generous, but it was a nice little bonus. Second, this was the only acrylic where I saw significant warping. However, it's not really fair to directly compare because this is also much larger than all the other panels I ordered, and larger panels are naturally more likely to warp. And then I ran my cut test, and this was actually the only one where I wasn't able to successfully complete the test, but I want to be clear that this was probably not a product issue and it would probably work fine on a CO2 laser. I think it was just too translucent for my diode laser and to be totally fair, they didn't say anywhere on their website that it would work with a diode. I was just hoping it would work considering it was labeled as opaque white and since I was able to cut through matte white from Houston Acrylics with the same settings, but let's not spend too much time on this technicality because Smoky Hill will soon be eliminated for a different reason anyway. The next thing I did was to test each company's customer support. And I did this by sending them all the exact same message in order to evaluate their response times and helpfulness. In fact, I actually did this on two different occasions. So I sent them all one question, same question for all suppliers. And then I sent them all a second question, same question for all suppliers. That way I would get a little bit more data. And to be totally honest with you, I was completely amazed at how good the customer support actually was for all five of these suppliers across the board. For every message I sent out, I got a full answer to my question in well under 24 hours every single time. And on several occasions, I got a full answer in under 15 minutes. And I won't bore you with all of the details of this little experiment because you can read the full notes in my spreadsheet if you want to. But here are a few highlights. Highlight number one, I thought Makerstock had the best customer support out of anybody. They weren't as fast in responding as some of the other suppliers, but each of their responses was still fast and it also was very detailed. And personally, I am willing to sacrifice a little bit of speed most of the time in order to have a more detailed answer. Craft Closet's customer support I thought was also good and I could really tell that the person responding to my questions had deep product knowledge However, the first message I received from them was a little bit difficult to understand and it had some typos in it, which is not a deal breaker, but I thought some of the other suppliers were a little bit better. Highlight number three requires a little bit of an explanation, but it all has to do with Houston Acrylics. So this is a bit interesting. The first question that I sent out to everybody for that one, Houston Acrylics was the fastest. They responded in 11 minutes and fully answered my question. It was basically perfect customer service. But on their second question, they actually made a mistake in their response. So here's the backstory on that. My second question was whether or not the masking material that comes on their acrylic is laser safe. Houston Acrylics had originally responded and said that they typically recommend remasking the material but it seemed like a pretty normal paper mask to me, and so I just followed up with an additional message and asked them if they could explain why it needs to be remasked. It's worth mentioning that I sent my follow-up message at about 6.30 p.m. Houston time, and I got a very apologetic reply in just four minutes. And that's when they corrected and clarified that it actually is laser safe, but they had been thinking of the masking that comes on some of their other specialty products. So long story short, despite the error, I think the customer support at Houston Acrylics is very good. And now that I had considered product quality and customer support, in addition to pricing, ease of use, and selection, it became pretty clear to me that this was a three-man race between Craft Closet, Custom Made Better, and Houston Acrylic. So let's briefly talk about why Smoky Hill and Maker Stock are a tier below them, and then we'll go into more detail on each of the top three. With Maker Stock, it's pretty straightforward. Their prices were quite a bit higher than the other suppliers in the final five. They did have the best customer support in my opinion, but I didn't think that the difference between their customer support and that of the other suppliers 
justified the extra cost of their material. Smoky Hill was a bit harder because if you look at our spreadsheet with the black acrylic comparison, they actually had the lowest base price. However, they don't offer free shipping regardless of how much you buy from them. And so if you qualify for the free shipping threshold at any of the final three, then that's going to really level out the price differences when compared to Smoky Hill. And they also happen to have the smallest selection of acrylic products by far. And so for these reasons, I'm also crossing Smoky Hill off the list. And just a little recap, we are now down to the final three, and those are Craft Closet, Custom Made Better, and Houston Acrylics. Now, I think if you bought from any of these three companies, you're gonna be paying a fair price, and I think you'll be really happy with both the product quality and the customer support you receive. But we're here to crown a victor, and so we're gonna keep going, and I'll now run through a pros and cons list for each of these three suppliers. First up is Craft Closet, and the first pro for them is that they actually had my favorite website for navigation out of anybody. They have a designated section on their website for diode laser compatible acrylics, and this is really helpful because as you might know, diode lasers aren't actually able to cut through all different types of acrylic. They particularly struggle with ones that are more translucent. And uh, they also have on each page, like an individual product page for each acrylic, they have a little tag on there that says whether it's compatible with CO2 lasers and whether it's compatible with diode lasers, which again, I think is really helpful. Of the final five, they also had the second largest selection with 274 different 1 8 inch acrylic products listed. Craft Closet also offers free shipping for orders over $99. Now for the cons, and you'll notice that these lists of cons for all of these final three suppliers are actually quite short, but the one con that I wanted to point out is that if you do not qualify for free shipping, that Craft Closet actually has the most expensive shipping otherwise. Next up is Custom Made Better. And the first pro for them is if you assume that you have to pay shipping regardless, so you're ordering a low enough amount that you're gonna have to pay for shipping, then for my location, the best cost was with Custom Made Better. It had the, the best deal on prices. And on that note, it's actually worth mentioning that if you go by price per square inch, so basically the unit cost of these acrylic sheets, that the prices between all of these final three are essentially the same. It looks in my spreadsheet as if Custom Made Better is actually a little bit cheaper, but their material is also one inch shorter than the other two we're comparing here. And so as a result, it's basically a wash and you can consider their prices basically the same for this black acrylic comparison. But with that said, Custom Made Better does have the best free shipping policy because you qualify if you spend more than $65 on 12 by 18 sheets of acrylic or smaller, which in my view is the best deal out of these three. Now for the cons, they do have the smallest selection out of these final three, and they also don't have any badge or indication on their website of which materials are compatible with a diode laser. This is not a requirement, but it is nice to have. And number three is Houston Acrylic. So let's start off with pro number one, which is their selection. They have the widest selection of acrylic products by far. They have more than Craft Closet and Custom Made Better combined. They have over 600 different 1 8 inch acrylic products listed on their website. And they also have something interesting that is called acrylic blanks, which is basically pre-cut shapes of acrylic. And so I thought that was pretty cool as well. They do also have a diode laser specific section on their website. It's not quite as easy to find as the one on Craft Closet because it's not listed in their header menu, but it's still nice that it's there and you can find it if you want to. And the last pro that I'll mention is that they do also offer free shipping when you spend more than $100. And to me, that is probably also the biggest con of Houston Acrylic, and that is that their free shipping threshold is pretty high at hundred bucks. And at the end of the day, I do think you're gonna be pretty happy regardless of which of these three suppliers you go with, but all things considered, I do have a favorite who I plan to buy most of my laser acrylic from going forward and also who I plan to recommend to others. And that supplier is Houston Acrylic. But if you'd also like to know my favorite supplier for laser plywood, then you can go and watch this video up here that I made a while ago on that exact topic. So I'll see you over there. Catch you in the next one. Bye.